From this Lego theme that hasn't been seen in over 20 years, to this Lego theme that ended before you were born, these are some Lego themes that you probably forgot about. Did you know that there was a Lego theme based on ninjas before Lego Ninjago even existed? This is the Lego Ninja theme, and the last set that got released for it was all the way back in 1999. That means that this theme hasn't seen the shelves in 25 years. The sets were initially released in 1998, so they were only around for a year in total. A lot of Lego fans have come to an agreement that if it weren't for the Lego Ninja theme, Lego Ninjago might have been a letdown. With the Ninja theme, Lego was able to test what people would like and dislike without even knowing it, since there's no way that they were planning on releasing Lego Ninjago back in 1998. Regardless, this theme is super cool and is a great collectible item for any Lego fans that might be building their own personal museum. Have you heard of a TV show called Avatar The Last Airbender? If for some reason your answer to that question was no, you have some serious catching up to do. Avatar The Last Airbender was a Nickelodeon show that started airing in 2005 and ended in 2008, but the show became so popular while it was being made that they decided to rerun episodes for years even after it officially ended. While Avatar was building its popularity from 2005 to 2008, they must have made some pretty good connections, because in June of 2006, the first and only Avatar The Last Airbender Lego sets hit the shelves. They were the Fire Nation ship and the Air Temple sets, and compared to the retail price, they've gone gone up a lot. The Air Temple set costs around $600, and the Fire Nation ship costs $1,500. So if you were planning on buying these, I'd think again, unless you're rich or something. Up next is a theme that was around at the same time as Avatar. This is the Lego Mars Mission theme, and just like the Lego Ninja theme, Lego Mars Mission is actually a subsection of the Lego Space theme, one of the biggest Lego themes to ever exist. Mars Mission was created in August of 2007, but was already gone by the year 2009 so it only lasted less than two years. 19 sets in total were made for the Mars mission theme, but most of them were pretty small. None of them had over a thousand pieces, so LEGO was definitely making them for a younger audience. The story behind the theme was that there was a war on Mars between humans and Martians, so almost every set was a vehicle driven by one of the two sides. This is definitely one of the cooler LEGO themes that's been discontinued, especially because of the boxes. Hopefully LEGO brings it back someday. Up next is another theme based on a popular kids show, but this is one that literally everybody knows. This is the Lego Spongebob theme, a Lego theme for arguably one of the biggest kid shows to ever exist. This theme was also released in 2006, just like Avatar The Last Airbender. It was around until 2009 when Lego decided to take a break from it. The reason for this was probably business related, but for some reason, Lego Spongebob was brought back in 2011, then officially retired in 2012. It seemed like Lego really had no idea what to do with this theme. On one hand, it's based on the biggest kid show ever, and on the other hand, people don't seem to care for the LEGO version. Regardless of what happened, this LEGO theme definitely flies under the radar of LEGO fans today since it's been gone for so long. Up next is a LEGO theme that was actually meant to be used once it was built. It's the LEGO Games theme, and from 2009 to 2013, LEGO was dropping sets for it all over the place. The LEGO Games theme was a super unique theme that hasn't been recreated even after all this time. The idea behind the theme was that every set was a game, and when you built it, you could play the game. Mike Micro figures came with every set and served as people's characters for the games. Along with those was a die, which was in so many sets that it became part of the LEGO game's logo. All in all, LEGO dropped 48 sets under this theme in just four years, which makes the fact that it's retired even more confusing. Up next is a theme that's actually pretty recent, but didn't do so well while it was around. This is the LEGO Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme, and it's one of the coolest retired LEGO themes ever. This theme was brought to life back in 2013, along with the release of the newest TMNT show at the time. It was a 3D animated show on Nickelodeon, so this was the perfect chance for LEGO to make a theme for it. Unfortunately though, one year and 27 LEGO sets later, the theme was retired and hasn't been back since. This next theme is definitely one that you don't remember. This is the LEGO Pharaoh's Quest theme, and it was only around for less than a year. Back in 2011, LEGO launched this theme with some elements from the LEGO Adventurers theme. That's another one that's pretty unknown too. The story behind this theme is that there are two groups, humans and those who serve the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh wants to take over the world, but there are six treasures that if the humans can find, they can stop the Pharaoh in his tracks and save the world. It's a pretty cool story for a Lego theme, but unfortunately not everyone agreed, so in 2012, it was discontinued. Up next is another theme that actually lasted longer than most Lego themes do. For some reason, back in the early 2000s, Lego was making and dumping themes like there was no tomorrow, and as a result, a lot of them have a pretty short lifespan, until you look at the Lego Power Miners theme. This theme was introduced in 2008 and lasted almost all the way through 2010. 
10. That's over two years. I know it doesn't sound like much when you compare it to something like Lego Star Wars, but trust me, for the time period, this theme lasted way longer than most. Lego Power Miners is a bit more popular than the rest of the themes on this list, so hopefully this jogged your memory a bit and brought back some good memories. This next Lego theme actually lasted way longer than Power Miners did, but for some reason, everyone seems to have forgotten about it. This is the Lego Hero Factory theme, and it was around from 2010 all the way up to 2014. As you can see, the sets from the Hero Factory theme aren't your average Lego sets. As a matter of fact, they look a lot like Lego Bionicle. Well, that's because Lego Hero Factory basically is another Bionicle. The sets mostly use Technic pieces, just like Bionicle did, and along with that, there was also a Lego Hero Factory show on Nickelodeon. Since Bionicle had been retired in 2010, it seemed like Lego was trying to revive it under a different name, but unfortunately, it didn't hit as hard and was ultimately shut down. Let's be honest though, nothing can hit as hard as Bionicle. Up next is a Lego theme that's a little more recent, but you still probably forgot all about. This is the Lego Ultra Agents theme, and it was introduced back in 2014. This theme was based on Secret Agents and actually had a lot of influence from the original Lego Agents and Agents 2.0 themes. The story behind this theme was that there was a group of guys striving to become secret agents and stop evil in their home known as Aster City. These guys didn't get too lucky though, because after just three waves of releases, the theme was retired in 2016. Okay, there's no way that you can remember this next Lego theme. It's so old that it was probably retired before you were even born. This is the Lego Space Police theme, and it was around from 1989 to 1991. Lego Space Police was a sub-theme that, in the storyline, was created to track down Blacktron, the bad guys of the Lego Space theme. Funnily enough though, this wasn't the only Lego Space Police theme that's been made. There's also Lego Space Police 2, which was around from 1992 to 1998 with a five-year gap in the middle, and Lego Space Police 3 that was around from 2009 to 2010. Someone over at Lego must have really liked the Lego Space Police theme. Up next is a Lego theme that's actually based on a lost city, making the fact that it's so forgotten pretty ironic. This is the Lego Atlantis theme from 2010, and there's a lot to unpack here. As the name implies, this theme is based on the lost city of Atlantis, one of the most confusing mysteries in human history. The story behind the Lego theme revolves around a team of divers who are on the hunt for the lost city. As you can imagine, this theme consists mostly of underwater vehicles and structures. Something about this theme that made it extra special though were the minifigures. The minifigures for the sea creatures had some of the most unique looks of their time. Funnily enough, this theme actually did really well while it was around. 46 sets in total were made for it, and there was even a Lego Atlantis movie on Cartoon Network in 2010. Even after all of this though, the theme was cancelled in 2011, just one year after it was initially released. The reason behind this is a big mystery, but there's a cool theory for it. Maybe Lego wanted the Lego Atlantis theme to mirror the real city of Atlantis, a prosperous work of art that mysteriously vanished. It's pretty interesting to think about. This next theme was actually discontinued pretty recently, but when you see the name, you might be a little confused. This is the Lego Scooby-Doo theme, and it wasn't brought to life until 2015. Now, the reason behind this is confusing is because of how old Scooby-Doo actually is. Scooby-Doo was made all the way back in 1969, but for some reason, it took Lego over 30 years to collab with them. Regardless, the theme was only around until 2017, and only seven sets were ever made for it. This is another example of Lego holding onto something for seemingly no reason. This theme was around for two whole years, but only seven sets were made? That's pretty sketchy, Lego. We got our eyes on you. Up next is a Lego theme that's actually based on Japanese cartoons. This is the Lego Exo Force theme, and the inspiration came from Gundam, a Japanese anime from the late 1970s and early 1980s. Gundam had a huge impact on the anime world, so for LEGO to take inspiration from it is pretty cool. The sets in this theme mostly consisted of giant combat mechs, known as battle machines. They were piloted by humans, or in this case minifigures, and were used to fight off evil robots. The theme was made in 2006 and was able to last a little over two years. Unfortunately though, it was retired in the summer of 2008 and hasn't been back since. Up next is a LEGO theme that was loved by just about everyone when it was around. This is the LEGO Legends of Chima theme, and a big reason people loved it so much was because of the animated show on on Cartoon Network. The show started airing in January of 2013 and was an instant hit. With this, LEGO knew they had another banger theme they could make sets for, and that's exactly what they did. From 2013 to 2015, LEGO made 185 products under the Legends of Chima theme, and one of them is literally a world record. Even though it never officially released, the biggest LEGO set ever was actually made under the Legends of Chima theme. I'm talking about the Battle for Chima set, and even though the box says it's made for 9-year-olds, this set has 10,004 pieces in it. That's more than the Eiffel Tower. Once again, it didn't ever officially release, but it's still insane for a record like this to be held by a theme made for nine-year-olds. Up next is a Lego theme that instead of having a cartoon spin-off, had a game made
made for it, but was still discontinued for some reason. This is the LEGO Rock Raiders theme from 1999, and I wasn't kidding when I said there was a game for it. The game released in November of 1999 and was only made for Windows at the time. Along with the game, a handful of sets were released. In 2000 though, the theme got upgraded. The game got made for PlayStation 2, and LEGO continued to drop sets along with some promotional pieces for the game. It must not have been very popular though, because that same year, the theme was retired for good. This next theme is another one that was actually made pretty recently. This is the LEGO Nexo Knights theme, and it came to life in 2016. The theme was announced at Comic-Con in 2015, and LEGO even brought a couple sets to help with promotion. The story behind this theme revolves around five knights in a futuristic high-tech world. The city they live in is run by some very evil people, so these knights want to fight and take back what's theirs. Unfortunately, the story just wasn't compelling enough. Either that or people just didn't like the look of the theme in general. Whatever the reason may be, Nexo Knights was retired in 2018, just two years after its initial release. The final theme on this list is the LEGO Monster Fighters theme. LEGO Monster Fighters was introduced in 2012, with seven sets initially being released in May of that year, but only 10 sets released in total. As the theme name implies, the story here is that people are fighting monsters, and there's a pretty cool easter egg in some of the sets that actually ties in with the story. In seven of the 10 sets released, there's a piece called a moonstone, and if the monsters get their hands on it, they'll use it to eclipse the earth forever. Unfortunately though, the sets didn't look that cool, so after two years, the theme was retired in 2014. What was your favorite theme in this video? Be sure to let me know down in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe.